Hey everybody, hello, hello, hello. So, I am getting ready for bed. Every day I come home from work, y'all, um, say I'm going to, oh, you see all that gray? It's going to stay right there, honey. Every day I get home from work, I tell myself, go ahead and twist up your hair. But I don't have the energy to do it. I even went out and bought me some, um, shampoo. This is Cream of Nature's Pure Honey Moisturizing Dry Defense Shampoo for dry, dehydrated hair. Pure honey, rich coconut oil, creamy shea butter, no sulfates, mineral oils. But this here. Have anybody tried this here? Smells good. I couldn't find a conditioner to go to it. Mm, but it smells pretty good. I want to try it. I was about out of my other shampoo, so I just wanted to try this one here. So that's my plans. I plan to shampoo my hair and twist my hair up. And then once those twists start to grow, then I'm going to go and get them retwisted at the uh, lock. The lady that does locks and stuff. But every day I come home, honey, I've just been too tired to do anything. All right. Have y'all got any gas in y'all town? Hmm. Because around here in these parts where I live in North Carolina, honey, we's out of gas. I got out of work, baby, the other day. And went to the gas station. I was going to get me some gas. You know, about $15 worth of gas would put my car about halfway. Uh, but when I got to the um gas station, there were so many cars at the pump. And I was like, what in the world are all these people at this gas station for? You know? And so I put my $15 little dollars in there and come on home. And so when I got on Facebook and um seen where um they talking about there was supposed to be a gas shortage, honey. I said a gas shortage. So, baby, you know what I did? I got my happy self right back in my car, honey. I went back to the same store. Now, let me tell you, I had only been home for about two hours. When I went back to the gas station, honey, they was out of, because my car used 87. They was out of 87. You had to put 93 in your car, that high gas. And then when I got back to the store, honey, I had to wait in line for about five minutes, because everybody and their grandmama, honey, uh, was at the store getting gas, honey. So I had to put 93 in my tank. And you know what, honey, it took me, what was it? Uh, 25 more dollars to fill up my tank, honey. Yes, it did. But I got a, a, a tank full of gas now. And I'm telling you, and a lot of people saying, you know, we shouldn't have went and filled up our tanks because that made, made us have a big shortage. And it would also make the gas prices come up, which that's true. But let me tell you something, honey. If you have never experienced, um... A hurricane or a flood or losing everything, honey, you you just won't think about that stuff. Because ever since Hurricane Matthew hit and I lost everything I had in my home, I lost everything in Hurricane Matthew. And some of my scribes that's been with me over a long time, y'all already know, honey. Hurricane Matthew has taught me one thing, baby. You had better be prepared. You had better be prepared. People was filling up their gas tanks. People had, they, they've been showing this picture. One man had a big, big container filling it up. I didn't blame him. I won't mad one bit. I wish I had me a big container like that. I would have filled it up too. Because let me tell you something, honey. You never know what's going to happen. It's better to be prepared, honey. You better be prepared. And you know, people saying you need to be prepared for Christ. That's true. You need to be pre prepared for the coming of the Lord too, baby. That's right. But you also better have some common sense, honey, and be prepared for shortages and outages and viruses and storms. You got to be prepared for all of that as much as you can. Yes, honey. Don't take it lightly, baby. So anyway, what else I want to talk about? I'm sleeping and tired. Can y'all tell? Well, I am. I was listening to uh, Bishop T.D. Jace. He got a new book out called Don't Drop the Mic. But he was, um, somebody had interviewed him. And he was talking about uh, how uh, we as a black people have come through so much when it comes to slavery and how we were abused. He was just talking about all the abuse that black people have suffered. You know, we were beaten. We were burned. He was talking about all that kind of stuff. And he also talked about the, the, the Jews, was it? 
the Holocaust, those people that suffered too, but he mostly was talking about how he was saying how we as a black people have suffered so many things and because we have survived slavery, because our ancestors have survived slavery, that make us a strong person people, that make us a strong um that make us a strong people. We can survive anything. And you know what? I was like, yes, that's right. But then I thought about that thing again. I said, wait a minute. It's just like telling a woman that's being battered. Girl, your husband been beating you for 15 years and you survived. You was a strong woman. I, I had to rethink that thing. Just because you are able to stand up under abuse don't make you a strong person. I, I, I just have to beg to differ. I look at that another way. And we gotta stop we gotta stop looking at that like that. Just because our ancestors um went through all the abuse and trauma and oh god murder and a great slaughter at the hands of the uh white man through slavery, it's like that's our encouragement. Honey, you you know you can take a whipping. You you can be stomped on. You can be burned. You know you come from a people that, that suffered and stood up under pressure. You, that ought to bring you strength. No, it don't bring me no strength. Why can't I just have strength without the, the abuse, without being stomped on and beat and abused? Do y'all understand what I'm saying? I mean, that's just how I'm looking at it. Y'all may look at it a different way, but I just don't like that. And, and like I said, it's like telling a woman that's been battered. You a strong woman because you withstood all that abuse and you still here. Well, you can be a strong woman and withstand without the abuse. I just don't like that we look at because we are a people that's able to suffer. We are a people that's able to take the worst kind of treatment possible so that makes us to be a strong people we should get our strength from being able to take someone mistreating us i don't like it i, I don't like that it don't make sense to me it used to and like i was saying when i was listening to him talk bishop jake's talk i'm like that's right we, we, we come through, yeah, honey, we are gonna come through this and come through that. I ought to be able to look at my ancestors and say, hey, that's in my bloodline. I'm able to, no, honey, let me be strong. Let me have faith. Let me be able to stand up under anything. Why? Because God give me inner strength, not because I have suffered abuse. Do I, am I making any sense to anybody? I'm making sense to myself. I ain't making sense to nobody. I just don't like looking at you a strong person because you able to stand up under abuse. No. Mm -mm. I don't want to be a strong person because I'm able to take someone knocking me upside my head or someone whipping me and I'm still there. No. I want to be from up under abuse. I want to be from up under whippings. I want to be from up under being mistreated. No, I want to get my inner strength from what God has given me, not because I'm able to withstand the abuse. Do y'all get it? I don't like that mentality. I don't. So anyway, I just wanted to share that we are a strong people because God created us and give us all inner strength. Our inner strength is not to be tried because we can withstand abuse and torture and hurt. That don't make you strong, baby, because you're able to sustain up under it. Most people didn't sustain up under it. Most people died. They died from it. So, no. Let us be find strength in that we are God's creation. That's why I want to find my strength. In him and who he's created me to be. I'm a human being. He's created me to have strength, have faith in him. All right. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say, honey. I just that's just me. I was just doing some thinking about a lot of things. You know, some stuff just don't make sense. 
You know, and we believe things for so long, you know, but there's a lot of stuff when I have to look at like, what? That that don't make no sense. So anyway, hope you all had a great day. Go get you some gas, baby. If you can get some gas, go get you some gas, honey. Because if whether we run out or we don't run out, it's better to be prepared and ready, all right? And if you're not prepared for the coming of the Lord, you had better be. You better give your life to the Lord and get saved. Repent of your sins. Because Jesus is showing up coming, honey. All right. So anyway, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. I love y'all. See y'all on the next video. Doodles.